the Lipson man found with around a quarter of a million pounds worth of cannabis has been told he has until next year to prove he's gone straight or he risks jail. Plymouth Crown Court heard how Nick Mancuso of Seaview Avenue, Lipson was spotted by officers in a service lane which runs between Lipson Avenue and Seaview Avenue on June 24, 2021 at around 4.20 p.m., approaching a white Peugeot 5008. He was seen to open the boot and remove two large holdout bags before heading back to his home. He was stopped entering his property, and a search of the bags revealed a quantity of cannabis in vacuum-packed bags. The further search of Mancuso's multi-occupancy home was carried out, and police found more cannabis in vacuum-packed bags, cannabis resin, three money-counting machines, and 7,280 pounds in cash. The drugs were later weighed, and the total amounted to 865.77 grams of cannabis resin, packed into 100-gram blocks, which had a potential street value of 1,350 pounds, and 25.9 kilos of cannabis, female flowering heads, with a potential street value of 259,940 pounds. Mancuso pleaded guilty to possession with intent to supply cannabis resin, possession with intent to supply cannabis female flowering heads, possession of criminal property, namely the cash. In addition he pleaded guilty to possession of 7.64 grams of cocaine. Prosecutor Sophie Johns told the court that two men in the car were later stopped by police heading north towards Birmingham. She said Mancuso had 25 previous convictions for for drug offenses, including the possession of cocaine and cannabis. In mitigation, his advocate Chris Cuddy said the probation report described Mancuso as a human dynamo and he was likely to have ADHD attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. He said Mancuso has had to wait 18 months for the sentencing hearing, which had been an enormous burden on him. He said that Mancuso's role was purely as a warehouse storeman, that he had no wealth to speak of, and that it was no known what happened to the two men in the car, as there had been no further police investigation. He said the car was not Mancuso's, nor was the money found with only the small amount of cocaine being his for personal use, effectively the only benefit he received. Mr. Cuddy e. described Mancuso as the bottom of the food chain and said his client was open to the police during interview. He noted that while the probation pre-sentence report suggested the 28-year-old was at a high likelihood of reoffending, Mancuso said he was a changed man. As for the money counting machines, Mr. Cuddy e. said they were given to him by those further up the chain and told that his role would occasionally include receiving money which he would have to count before passing on. Judge Peter Johnson told Mancuso he noted his early guilty plea, but also the substantial amount of drugs found in his possession. He said it was accepted that he was just warehousing the drugs and that he suffered mental health issues. He also noted the delay in the sentencing and the remorse he had shown. While he also noted that the sentencing guidelines, the probation report and the references offered meant the matter was within the suspended sentence territory, he said there was not necessarily a prospect of rehabilitation. As such he said he was defer sentence until April 3, 2023, and ordered Mancuso that the conditions were that he secured accommodation and employment, attended his GP to assess if he had adult ADHD, and took any necessary medication if prescribed and keep out of trouble with no offending. Ask if he understood those conditions and what it would mean if he breached them, Mancuso said he did. Judge Johnson said the sentencing hearing would be reserved to him.